Imagine being thrown into a furnace, a fire so hot that it kills those who even approach it. This is a tale of faith that withstood such a test. A story that takes us back to ancient Babylon, a time of kings and empires, where three men dared to defy the might of a ruler for their belief. This is the story of Daniel chapter 3. A story not of Daniel, but his friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. A tale of faith so powerful that it refused to bow before a golden idol. A tale of faith that chose a fiery furnace over the comfort of compliance. These men, exiles in a foreign land, chose to honor their God, even if it meant facing death in a furnace seven times hotter than usual. Now, this wasn't any ordinary furnace. This was a furnace of execution, a furnace so fearsome that it would incinerate anything or anyone who dared approach it. A furnace that was a symbol of the king's absolute power and the ultimate punishment for those who dared to defy him. And defy him, they did. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when commanded to worship the golden image erected by King Nebuchadnezzar, chose not to. They chose faith over fear. They chose God over gold. They chose righteousness over reprisal. And in doing so, they risked everything. Their defiance was not a rebellion against the king, but a testament to their unwavering faith in their God. The context of this story is a testament to their courage, their commitment, and their conviction. They stood firm in the face of absolute terror, knowing full well the consequence of their actions. But they also knew that their faith was unshakable, their belief undeterred. Their faith was about to be tested in the most fiery way imaginable. In a world where conformity was the rule, three men dared to be different. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego lived in a time when King Nebuchadnezzar ruled with an iron fist. The king had made a decree. All were to bow down and worship a golden idol. Anyone who disobeyed would face a fiery furnace. These three men, however, were not just any ordinary men. They were Jews, servants of Yahweh, the one true God. Their faith was their compass, guiding them in a world that was often adrift in moral ambiguity. When the decree was issued, they were faced with a choice. A choice that would test the very core of their beliefs. On one hand, they could conform, bow down to the idol, and save their lives. After all, they were living in a foreign land, away from their homeland. But on the other hand, they could stand firm in their faith, defy the king, and face the dire consequences. It was a choice between life and death, between compromise and conviction. And so, they chose the path less trodden. They chose to defy the king, to uphold their faith, even if it meant facing the fiery furnace. They knew the consequences. They knew what lay ahead should they refuse to bow down to the golden idol. Yet they chose to stand firm. They chose to remain faithful to their God. This was not a decision made lightly. It required courage, conviction, and an unwavering faith. It required them to stand against the tide, to swim against the current. But they held their ground. They stood tall, refusing to bow to the king's golden idol. Their defiance was not out of disrespect for the king, but out of reverence for their God. Their faith was not just about following a set of rules but about a relationship with their Creator. They were willing to lose their lives for their faith, rather than live a life of compromise. But it was their unwavering faith that led them to stare death in the face. The furnace awaited, its flames roaring and hungry. Imagine, if you will, a scene of sheer intensity. A furnace, not your everyday household type, but a gargantuan, monstrous creation of stone and iron, designed to consume and obliterate. Flames leapt and danced within its belly, their heat so intense it was as if the very air shimmered in fear. Into this furnace were thrown three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, their bodies bound and helpless against the fiery onslaught. The onlookers watched in stunned silence, the heat from the furnace causing them to shrink back, their eyes wide with a mix of awe and horror. The king himself, Nebuchadnezzar, stood at a safe distance, his expression one of grim satisfaction. The very atmosphere seemed to hold its breath as the three men disappeared into the furnace, swallowed up by the flames. The heat was so intense, so all-consuming, that the soldiers who had thrown them in were instantly incinerated. 
the onlookers could only watch in stupefied silence, the reality of what was happening too overwhelming to comprehend fully. This was no ordinary punishment, it was a terrifying spectacle intended to instill fear and obedience. The king had made his point clear, defy his orders, and this would be your fate. Yet amidst the crackling of the flames and the stifling heat, there was an undercurrent of something else. A strange, almost imperceptible feeling of anticipation, as if the furnace itself was holding back a secret. The king, his courtiers, and the gathered crowd continued to watch, their faces a mix of fear and curiosity. The furnace raged on, its flames reaching higher and higher into the sky, a terrifying testament to the king's wrath and power. Yet in the midst of the flames, something miraculous occurred. In the heart of the fire, they were not alone. A statement that may seem strange, but for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, it was their reality. As they stood amidst the flames, the intense heat licking their faces, a fourth figure appeared. A figure, not of this world, radiant and divine, the very essence of the miraculous. This was no ordinary firewalk. It was a testament of faith, a demonstration of divine intervention. The three men, bound and thrown into the furnace, emerged unscathed. Not a single hair on their heads singed, their clothes untouched by the flames. An impossibility turned possibility, a miracle in the heart of the inferno. This extraordinary event left King Nebuchadnezzar astounded. He had witnessed the impossible. His heart pounded as he watched the scene unfold before his eyes. The men he had sentenced to death were alive, untouched by the raging fire. And there was a fourth figure, a divine presence, standing with them, protecting them. The realization was profound. This was not magic. This was a divine act, a testament of the living God. The king, once adamant and unyielding, was humbled. He had seen evidence of a power greater than any earthly king, a power that protected its followers even in the face of death. This experience shook Nebuchadnezzar to his core. His perspective shifted, his decree changed. He acknowledged the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego as the true God, the protector, the deliverer. The miracle in the flames was more than just a physical preservation. It was a spiritual awakening, an affirmation of faith. It demonstrated that even in the fieriest trials faith could withstand. It showed that when you stand firm in your beliefs, even in the face of death, miracles can happen. Their faith had not only saved them, but it also changed the heart of the king. A story of faith, a tale of miracles, a lesson for us all. Even in the heart of the fire, you are never alone. The fiery furnace serves as a testament to the power of faith. A powerful statement, but one that rings true when we dive deep into the lessons from the furnace. A story of courage, faith, and miracles. What can we glean from this tale? First and foremost, the strength of faith. The faith of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego wasn't just lip service. It was profound, unwavering belief. Despite the odds, they trusted in a power beyond their own. They believed, even when the circumstances screamed otherwise. It's a reminder that our faith isn't meant to be passive, but active and resilient, ready to face any challenge. Then, there's the courage to stand up for what's right. In a world where they were expected to bow to the king's golden image, those three men chose to defy the norm, to stand up for their beliefs. They chose integrity over convenience, principle over popularity. This courage wasn't born out of arrogance, but from a deep conviction. It's a lesson that still holds relevance today, reminding us that standing up for what we believe in is not always easy, but it is always worth it. Finally, we learn about the belief in miracles. In the midst of the furnace, a fourth figure appeared, unscathed by the flames. A miracle unfolded right in the heart of the fire. It serves as a reminder that miracles happen, often in the most unexpected places and times. Our job is to keep believing, to keep hoping, even when we're in the middle of our own furnaces. So let's take these lessons to heart. Let's have the faith that doesn't waver in the face of trials, the courage to stand up for what we believe in, and the openness to believe in miracles. Because these lessons from the furnace are not just ancient tales, they are timeless truths that can guide us in our journey today. Remember, just like those three men, 
Your faith can withstand any furnace you face. 